Lions now approaches, and the 2019 season for the Penn State Nittany Lions is underway with a boot out of the end zone for a touchback. Football has got to be behind their all big sky right guard. They do hand it off from that way, but they're stuffed. And Penn State gets the stop. Here from 28. And he knocks it right through, and Penn State draws first blood. 3 nothing. Penn Speed, and he's able to do that to a garden space. Gross Matos is a low snap, but nicely taken by Kate Coffey. And a bad punt. That was just bad from the start for Idaho, and Penn State's going to have really good field position. So the 35 yard line is where Penn. Can he showcase that big leg? Yes! That's why they use Jordan Stout at 50 plus as he knocks it home from 53 to give Penn State a six. He's worked really hard to be a better runner. I think you got to run the same stuff. You got to be who you are. Speaking of running, right up the middle and right into the end zone goes Journey Brown. See him right here, cut right off the back hip of Rasheed Walker, and there's no one there at the second level. To Slade here and get him one. They do give it to him, and he is indeed in the end zone for a touchdown. Ricky Slade from a yard out. Inside the defense, the push by the offensive line. Ricky from that Penn State defense that has really been the story of the game. Clifford hit as he throws for the end zone. Oh boy, wide open. KJ Hamler. Touchdown, Penn State. Six-yard pass. He just had to loft it up there. Yeah, what I love about Sean Clifford here, he keeps his eyes downfield. He scrambles and steps up in the pocket. KJ Hamler. That's where I want to be. <laughs> That's when you didn't have any worries. Around the edge. A lot of room to go for Devin Ford. 40, 20, 10. Goodbye. Touchdown. 81-yard run for the true freshman from Stafford, Virginia. Offensive coordinator Ricky Ronnie said that Devin Ford has quick feet. He finds a lane and then he goes. Well, he went. It's in the second quarter. Going for the end zone. Hamler. Yep, second of the game. For the red shirt sophomore, KJ Hamler. And his family, they approve. That's a nice read. Once he sees Hightower squat on the right side of your screen, he realizes he has all the width of the field to work with. He can throw it away from Jalen Hoover when you give KJ Hamler all that space. For Jake Penninger. No problem. Kicking game remains perfect for the Nittany Lions. And really, the first half 
Pretty perfect for the Nittany Lions. 44 to nothing as we hit intermission. Ball right around the two. One more time, Journey Brown. Second touchdown of the game for Journey Brown. Right up the gut. And Penn State has already hit the 50-point mark. Brandon, that's just what you want to see. We talked about making slight adjustments, but when you come back out, are my guys still focused? Right? Can they lead a drive down, get on the board? Great execution by the Penn State offense. Obviously, K.J. Hamler with the nice adjustment. Idaho's drive chart in the first half. They went turnover on downs and then all punts. And here's an interception. John Reed with a pick. The fifth-year senior with a sixth interception of his career. And it sets Penn State up first and goal. John Reed seen a lot of football. Look at him just jump. That's a miscommunication there. Asa Petrino had to be expecting the wide receiver to run a comeback. Reed's not mad at him. He'll take the gift. Hand off the freshman. Noah Kane slipping through. Sean Clifford approves as the onslaught continues. Solid push by the offensive line. You see number 74 there, Steven Gonzalez climbing. And what I love about Sean Clifford watching him, even when he's on the field and there on the sideline, he gets so excited, almost more so. So instead of a long field goal, they go for it here on fourth and ten. Petrino on the run, incomplete, no flag. They call the defense clean. DJ Brown knocking it up. Giving Penn State the football back with its fourth quarter. Penn State looking to add to that huge lead. Throw behind, but still caught and taken into the end zone. Well, Levis, not the most accurate pass, but Brenton Strange, the freshman tight end, somehow able to corral it and score it. Congratulations, young freshman. You're into the end zone for the first time in your college career. The play fake, he comes behind the line of scrimmage. It's hard for the defender to track him behind the... Every single starting defensive football player over there is telling the young guys that are rotating in. Dropped it, but was able to jump back on it. As Mac Hippenhammer, he could not get it. Idaho is going to get good field position to try to get rid of that zero. David Eppinger was the one to jump on it for the Vandals. Right as, as I was about to say, every defensive player, the starters are saying, hey, preserve the shutout. You have a muffed punt. You give Idaho really good field position at the 25-yard line with an opportunity to get points. You take pride as a defensive football player in the shutout and preserving it, and you want those guys that are subbing in for you to uphold that effort that you put in earlier in the football game. Jay Pounds for the Lions defense right now. Play fake, rolling. Touchdown, Idaho. Their first score of the season. Logan Kendall. And the Idaho fans finally have a little something to cheer about. But it's all window dressing at this point. You can see the play action fake right here. Petrino buys enough time to get the football to his fullback. They're still competing. But playbook with all four of them. Up the middle, push forward and into the end zone. It was close. They're saying touchdown, and finally the signal comes in. Noah Kane with his second score of the game. The second score of his young career. signal let's see if he got in really a nice tough run to get in the end zone absorbs a couple of hits it's a little help you can't see the football 
but they ruled it a touchdown on the field. And four, a punt. As Idaho still has not converted a third down, they're 0 of 14 in this game. Hippenhammer with his second fumble of the game, but it is picked up by Jaquan Brisker, his teammate, who was Johnny on the spot. There's going to be a ton to teach off of. Next week, they'll host Buffalo and then Pittsburgh before having a bye and then into Big Ten play. How about Nick Murray? Did he get in? Yes. What an effort by Nick Yuri. His first touchdown as a Nittany Lion, and he becomes the fifth Penn State running back to hit pay dirt today. And that is a BTN standout presented by Auto Owners Insurance, if I've ever seen one. I just love the effort. He was not going to be denied of that goal line. What I loved was his team's reaction. You can see it from up here in the press box. Look at Sean Clifford. Just what I was talking about. These guys get psyched when those hardworking players that put all this effort. Likely the final play of the game. And the clock hits zeros as that is ruled incomplete. And that will do it. Penn State starts off the 2019 season by scoring the most points in their program since 1991 with a 79-7 drubbing of the Idaho Vandals. So James Franklin's offense was good, his defense was good, I mean, just all around a solid performance.